This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I have got something very special for folks who are having a hard time with their bale handling. We have auto loading bale forks. They have finally arrived to Farm Sim 19. Let's take a look at them in the shop. So we go to our tools section and we go to front loaders. Currently the only version are for front loaders. I do know by comments uh, by the mod author uh, that there are telehandler and wheel loader and possibly even skid steer variants in the works. Uh, but currently the only option are front loaders. What he's wanting to do is he's wanting to make these configurable. Otherwise he'd end up having, you know, two in every single um, category of the shop for front loaders, wheel loaders, telehandlers, and skid steers. This mod can be found over at modhoster.de. So I will link that to you in the description below. But let's take a look at them in the shop. So they are $1,200 a piece for round bales or square bales. We'll need to have one for each bale type if you carry different bales. And let's take a look at the normal bale spike is $600. So there is a price premium for these. But if you are having a hard time with your bale handling, then these may be the one for things for you. I used to call forks like these in Farm Sim 17 as cheater forks. And you know what? If you need them, then you got them right now. If you don't need them, then you have some other bale fork options available for you. So we've already got a couple of these purchased. So I'm not going to purchase um, these now. It's either $1,200 or $61 initially, $12 a day to lease. Square bale options are square bale forks. Again, $61 initially lease, $12 a day. And they both hold three bales each. Let's go on over here and take a look. Got hooked up the square bale function. Square bale forks here. Then we've got the round bale forks right here. So as you can see in the background, we happen to have some bales handy. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how these things work. If we pull up the F1 menu, you see that we have transportating, transportation position and operating position. And then just toggle between the two. That is the B key by default. All we got to do is ease up into these and watch what happens. Let's turn operating position on. Whoa, they just got grabbed. See, they hold on magically well. Now we have transporting position. I, I don't know what this is doing. I don't know what transport position is doing. Doesn't seem to do anything. Transport operating. Okay. At any rate, what we can do now is unload the bales. We hit wide unload. And then we basically get, are you sure? Type of a prompt. Unload bales here. Hit Y. And they just drop off forks. And now the forks have no collision, so that is just fine. So let's do this again. Hit Y. Now it says lower pl lower loading platform. I don't know what that means. Uh, but Y seems to grab them again. Let's hit Y to unload. Y to confirm. And there they are. Y to grab them. Load. There you go. That's simple. Now let's go over here and grab the round bales bale spikes. They operate the same as the squares. And you can pretty much see how they unload the bales because that's how I uh, picked them up. Change to operating position. We ease on in here. And they grab. 
At this point, we can drive them around wherever we want. Stop. Hit Y. Y again to unload. And there we go. Guys, we've got auto loading bale forks. One for square bales, one for round bales. They can be found over at modhoster.de. So, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of this particular mod. Do you have difficulty handling bales? Is this the saving grace for you with respect to bale handling? And until next time, happy farming.